G'day, Alex Moss here, and welcome to a tutorial on the View Data Page. This is going to be an overview of the page in general, uh, navigating, deleting and downloading, selecting items singly. And as you can see, I've got a search running up the top here. This is indicated by this circular uh, notifier up here. As, if this is rotating right now, it means that there is a process running, and currently we're going to be adding items to the View Data Page as it finds items that meet our criteria and filters. Now you can see here as well that it also says that we have a limit of 20,000 items that we can store on this page. And we'll be looking at increasing these values, so don't be surprised if this number goes up over time. And uh, in this overview, I want to have a look at a few things. So first of all, um, the navigation bar is here as normal, and you would have accessed this page either from product search, view data, the blue button that appears over on the top right here, or you will have accessed it from the drop-down menu here, view data. Now the view data page in itself is very similar on uh, the reverse search. The reverse search view reverse is very similar to this page, and wholesale view reverse is very similar to this page. You'll also find that your saved data rooms, where you store these items, will also be very similar to this page. So a lot of the instructions in the videos to come, uh, it's going to be really nice and easy for you because you can carry that same information across to all of those pages. Now, you will find some variations when you start talking about the View Flips page and the View Library page, and so we will cover those in a future video. Now, the page in general, when you first open it, it may seem a little daunting, but it's actually fairly straightforward. This is a repository for where any items that are found that meet your filtering criteria will be uh, set aside for you to analyze further. So, um, these, as we didn't put any filters at all in our search, just for the sake of a test, we have um, everything being pretty much added. So, uh, in a series of videos on product searches, we're going to have a look at applying filters and seeing how that affects these view data pages. But for now, we're just doing an unfiltered search. Now, I actually like to see as much real estate as possible when I'm working uh, on, these, on this particular page. So I use the F11, the Function 11 button on my keyboard, and that will send this to full screen. Okay. Uh, up the top here, you've also got a few buttons here. We're going to go over them one by one in some videos ahead. One for managing the columns and updating some of the data on here. Some downloading and deleting options. Uh, the options to scroll through some of the searches. We can, we can have a look at as many as 100 results per page. So let me drop this right back down to 10. And you'll see that there is only 10 items here now. Now, one of the reasons that we have this particular filter here is, is tactical arbitrage in itself runs on the cloud in that you can literally start a search, close your computer, hop on a plane, go for a flight, unpack it, and the search will either still be running or it will have completed uh, in the servers on the cloud. That means that you don't really need a super powerful computer to operate tactical arbitrage. You could do it on a, a simpler or older computer or even an iPad and still initiate a search. Where you may experience some kind of sluggishness in your computer is if you're trying to, uh, sh to present too much, too much information on your screen at once for your browser's cache and for your local computer's um, capabilities. So in that case, we have allowed this opportunity for you to um, drop the number of results per page down to a lower amount. And in these instances for older machinery, you will notice an improvement by doing this. However, I have a fairly decent computer and I'm going to set this to 100 and in many people's cases, um, setting it to 100 will be more than suitable. Now doing this, of course, adjusts the number of pages that you can cycle through uh, relevant to the uh, number of items that are available for you to analyze. And it'll show you as well on the right hand side here that at this moment we are showing 1 to 100 items of 1,885 entries. Okay, so that's all nice and neat. We have uh, options to select products singly here, or we have options to select all or deselect all. We can delete everything that's here with the click of a button. Now, doing this by itself will give you a warning, so you have the option to back out of there. In this case, we don't want to delete everything, so I'm going to cancel this command. 
and we have the option to download everything that's in the table. Now there's a couple of flavors of downloading to choose from. The two that I'll cover right now is download as a CSV and download as a proprietary TA file. Now a proprietary TA file will essentially bundle everything that's on the page here into one little .ta file. You won't be able to open that file in Excel or anything, but it is super handy for you just to, to just back up that TA file onto your computer somewhere and then re-import that TA file either into a friend's computer who is operating their own installation of tactical arbitrage or uh, maybe if you have uh, closed your account for a while and you want to reopen your account, you're ready to get back into fulfillment by Amazon, now is a good time for you to reinstall your TA files back inside your new uh, installation, uh, inside your new uh, membership of tactical arbitrage. So uh, that is the TA file. Now, uh, that was originally released before this download all as a CSV file. Now, so uh, the good thing about this TA file is the file that's sitting on your computer is essentially protected. Nobody else can really um, steal your computer and then use that TA file unless they have their own installation of tactical arbitrage to import that into. It did become apparent, though, that we would need to have uh, a CSV file download that you could edit. So later in the uh, many permutations of tactical arbitrage, we did release the CSV option. So you can download this to your computer, you can edit it, you can uh, delete, some, uh, delete some content, and then uh, you can import some of this data later that is edited into one of your saved data rooms. So uh, in short, you can download uh, what is on the page and what is uh, on the table here. Now I can see the scanner stopped, so we've got 1,954 items that would come down in one of these two downloads. Uh, and uh, you can store those on your computer to either import later or to edit and import later. So I won't go into the third option now because I am going to cover that in a video that's coming up. Uh, the other thing that you should need to know on the page before we move to the next video is essentially the layout of the page. So aside from these operating buttons at the top here, again, many of which we're going into in the, in the videos that are coming up, and uh, again, this set of buttons here, we have down here a table. Now, the table actually encompasses rows and columns. On the rows here, we talk about the particular um, arbitrage opportunity that we're looking at analyzing. And uh, the columns actually give us the data on each of these opportunities um, that we may want to analyze for our own, uh, for our own personal um, checks and balances to see whether or not this might be a product that's suitable for us to, uh, to buy and then resell for profit. So um, there are many different uh, pieces of information that we're going to need to cover in every single one of these cells. But don't be daunted because although it does look a little confusing at first glance, I can assure you that it does get much easier to work with once you know the basics. Anyway, in the next video, we're going to have a look at the columns and how to manage these columns in a way that best suits your flow. Thank you.